Hi everyone, I'm Linda V. Taylor. Thank you so much for joining me today on Best of Both Worlds. Today we are finishing up our Sunbonnet Sue and Sunbonnet Sam, so stay tuned. This is my I Love Feathers uh, Sue, so I, I'm going to, and you can see the, um, the holes in the fabric from all of the wear and tear in this little quilt, just precious. I'm making just some lines that are coming out like this. I think right here I'm going to go out and make a flower coming out of her hat. Maybe put some teardrops inside of those to make it look even more like a flower. Maybe some little curls here and there. Maybe that will stabilize the, um, the holes in the, in the quilt. Come out with a pretty little leaf with a stem. And then come back to doing my straight lines. You can see the arm on this sunbonnet suit is completely gone. But I'm not going to replace that um, because I, I like the ambience of it. What I am going to do is put another braid down here. She's going to have pigtails. So these pigtails are going to be coming out like this. Come back up here like this, come down again, put the end of the hair in here, and a little bow. Go over the bow a couple of times. There we go. And then across the dress, I'm going to put some cute little swirls. And then this is an awesome design for a sashing, too, or even a border, these little swirls. You just make them all the same, then come back and echo once, and then echo on the bottom. So we're echoing it on top and on the bottom. Awesome. So she's decorated now, so let me show you how I did my feather. I have switched to constant now. I was in regulated, still using the variegated thread. And I do have just a very faint chalk line coming out to kind of give me an idea of where to bring these feathers. I'm starting with the teardrop here, coming over to that line, backtracking, and then coming back. Now the nice thing about um, doing the freehand on this is because this, this is such an odd space. See, I'm going to come over here like this and come right back over here. I'm trying to miss some of the hand quilting because I really, really love it, the effect that it gave us. You see, I can just go right on top of that bow that's on her hat and come right over here and match up with those other feathers. And one more little one right there. And then I'm just going to work my way right back down that seam and come over here and do the same thing. I'm trying to do this one-handed, but it's, it would be a lot neater with two hands. Around. And then watch as I work around the dress. And these odd areas at the bottom. Coming right over to the other feathers. And back to the seam, around 
follow that around. And then one more little one right there, and I will stop. Now, the last thing I have to do, of course, is put in my words. And I think I can do those right in a feather. So I'm going to write it, um, not print it. I'm having more trouble printing than writing. So I'm going to put I love and then feathers in there. Let's see. I love feathers. There. I'll skip one feather to do that. Love, and right down here. You could certainly write that beforehand with something to make sure your space is right, and then cross my T. Didn't take me long to figure out that my Sunbonnet Sue's and Sam's were um, smaller in my drawings than they were than they are on the quilt. But I'm still going to try to put him in a boat. He's standing on the edge of the boat. Okay. And I'm making water here. I'm going to just follow that up. And make sure that he looks like he's in some water. I'm going to follow his little feet around. I'm going to put a belt on him. There we go. Okay, and now the fishing pole, which I'm assuming this is his arm, so it should probably come like out here, like that, and then come down here, and it's going to have a little fish on it. Maybe a little eye on the fish. Go back up the pole. Maybe make that out here a couple of times, like that. And um, I also want to put a little feather in his cap. I'm going to go across there like that. Come out here with a feather. And these feathers are just like a very subtle S, kind of curve one way and then the other as they come down the line. He found a really good feather. So he stuck it in his hat. There we go. And then the sun. Um, and this one will just come across here like this, kind of like we did the other sun. Except this one is just going to have rays that come out. You kind of recognize those. Everybody does that sort of a sun. It's a good sunny day to go fishing. And then, of course, I'm going to write. Gone. Fishing. Thank you. 
I'm just going over these one more time. It's not really actually going exactly over it. It's sort of echoing really close to it. This is my quilt so show, Sue. So I'm just sort of making the floor here. Um, so she has something to stand on. And then over here I am, and I'm gonna go back into constant here. I sort of drew a little bit of uh, the next sunbonnet Sue, so hopefully I can kind of replicate the first one. It's different because a lot of times the Sunbonnet Sioux has a round hat, but these had um, these kind of squarish hats. And as I come down, I'm going to put um, a flower in them, in the hat. I've actually seen people at quilt shows like this. Yes, I have. You might have been one of them. They're really cute. They're all dressed alike. Um, as I come up here, I'm gonna do the arm like that, but then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put a little clutch here. She's got a little purse. Of course she has a purse because that's why we go to quilt shows, so that we can spend our money on quilt supplies. And then there's one back here, and this is just gonna have the dress. It is gonna have the bonnet. And again, I'll come out with a little flower. Make this one a little bit different. The flower's bigger than the bonnet, oh well. It's just so you can kind of see that she's back there. And there's her arm. They're not as fat as she is because she's way fatter than I thought she was. Oh well, we know how that feels. Okay. Sorry, Rick's laughing. Um, I'm going around this arm and I'm gonna make a purse here too. Just a little clutch. I should have made a great big bag with rollers, right? Yes, because that's what we usually have on them. I'm going to make a little placket here in the front and put some little pebbles here for buttons. Just kind of decorate that up. And then over here on the hat, I think I want to do a little bit more than we've done before on the hats, like this. But on her hat, holy cow, she's going to have this awesome fern spin right here on her hat. And I, I think I want her to have some curls. So let's just come out from behind. She had time to curl her hair. She was so excited about going to the quilt show. See, now we feel like we really know her, don't we? And then all I have to do is, I have to put an arrow over here. Right there. And then right Quilt show.
Just making sure that this arrow is definitely directing her to the quilt show. We don't want her to end up somewhere where she doesn't belong. And our last little, last little sun bonnet, Sam, is going to be saying good night. So we are going to, I think we better break our thread for sure. There we go. And let's do a nice moon up here. Got to have eyelashes and a nice smile. There's the rest of the smile. There we go. And around him, I do want to do a belt. I just didn't have any quilting on them at all. Let's go up here and let's put a feather in his cap. This feather's turned out really well. One of the things that you can do on the feathers is you can cross over. I'll show you what I mean on this one so you can see it out here. I come out here and I do a couple like that. Okay, see so how I cross back over where I am? Right there. And I'm going to uh, do my writing, which is Good Night Moon. Actually, I think I will um, print this one. However you think. I know my printing is like, whoa. But it's mine. So. It's my block letters. G. O. O. D. Okay, I'm going back into constant now, and I'm just putting some ground. I like these, these little figures to be grounded a little bit, otherwise they're just hanging in the quilt. Like that, and then we're going to go into our famous stars and loops. And we'll just fill in the rest of this with those. I will put in my planet, Saturn though, but not near the moon. I think I'll wait and kind of get out of this area. We'll put Saturn over there on the other side. If you've never done these stars and loops, they're one of the very first things you do when you're learning freehand. I am in constant, doing them in constant. But you can do them in regulated, of course. When you do a Saturn, you come all the way around and then you put some rings around it. Like this. How many, how many rings does it have? I don't know, that's enough. Everyone recognizes that and knows that it's Saturn. I'll just fill all of this in. Night sky. And we'll end right there. Now we can look at the quilt as a whole and see if it looks anything like my sketches. Such a good feeling when you get your quilt finished and you get to look at it. And I love this little quilt. 
It really has personality now. It's exactly what I wanted for a little wall hanging for one of my grandchildren. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to watch next time. See ya.